A small town nestled in Dakota County is growing. In fact, it's growing so fast, it will soon become Minnesota's newest city. Empire is a rural area, but is surrounded by several suburbs right next door to Rosemont and Farmington. The town of 3,000 taking a big step today toward becoming incorporated, holding an election for mayor and city council. That's a big deal. Polls closed just about 90 minutes ago. Our Corin Hoggard is live in Empire with a graduation that was decades in the making. Sounds like a fun day. It's been a fun day for them, and the Empire Town Board is meeting in the town hall right there tonight, but neither the hall nor the board will be the same for very long. A small town feel and open space have defined Empire Township since it was organized in 1858. Ten miles of biking and hiking trails and fewer than a thousand homes crisscross an area of less than 34 square miles. But about 20 years ago, the town started to feel the increasing pressure of development as the South Metro grew and nearby cities like Farmington started annexing parts of what used to be a neat square map. If you notice, one of the biggest reasons we did this, if you notice this area here is all chunked out. Empire itself grew from about 1,300 people to 3,300 since 1990, but its future was unclear. The boundaries shaky, even though the town already had its own water and sewer systems and millions of dollars saved to replace its aging water tower. Like those are assets that could be, you know, annexed. So if we didn't do this, you know, with the right paperwork, we could lose a whole residential district that we've planned for to put a water tower on. So the empire struck back. The town set in motion a plan to incorporate as a city and harden its borders. This election day and its relatively high turnout of only about 10% of residents seals the deal. As soon as it's certified, a mayor and four city council members will replace the three town supervisors. Then the 200th biggest of 913 cities in Minnesota can plan for a future where they control their own destiny and growth. But only the signs will be different. A Dakota County Sheriff's deputy will still enforce the law. Kids will still attend Farmington schools. We'll always be part of Farmington to some degree. And that still includes most addresses too, including right here. Even after the signs change to say that this is Empire City Hall, its address will still be in Farmington because hmm. it's where the nearest post office mm. is. <laughs> We're live in the still town of Empire, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. Ah, that's funny. Those little changes take time, though. They need to get a post office. But I, don't know, I there feel like go. there should be a ribbon cutting or something tomorrow with the giant scissors. With the giant yes. scissors. How do those giant scissors cut? Mm. 